Hi everyone and welcome back to Open TTD with me, Tommy P. I forgot in the last episode that we did have another um, sheep farm down here, sort of near Fundhead, little farm bridge um, that I needed to get connected up. So I'm just going to crack straight on with doing that and um, this will be just a another single row row station and uh, yeah once this is done I'll um, I'll get the all the cargoes in around the polymer plant that we didn't get connected up last time round. Get all that sorted um, all up to the textile mill. We are edging ever closer to finishing our vehicles industry chain. It's quite interesting to see. So yeah, up to 650 tonnes of vehicles already and uh yeah might not just be swiss tony who will end up benefiting from what will inevitably be a mass amount of cars being produced here Right, and we're going to, um, let me just double check this route, so in the sheepfold here at Londington, that's going to come up here, they're going to go up here, they're going to be able to go down, all the way around, and then they're going to come up and around here, join up here, come off and around and then yeah up towards the textile plant back down down and over up 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 and back in yonder here. Okay, right. Uh, wool not terribly um, high paying, but 90 miles an hour. Um, right. Uh, is it the brush that does 90? Yeah. Um, I don't think we're going to get loads out of here. So for once, I'm not going to go mad. I'll just put that train length 6. Just have a couple of those going. So, to the sheepfold. Round. Up you come. You're going to go wool and fibres inbound and then to there. And no loading and unload all. So that's you done. And where were we? Yes, we were here. So at the polymer plants, this is where we have fibres. 
Okay, let's have a quick little look at fibres, not one I've ever transported before. Um, okay, hopefully this will actually be the same as wool. Ooh, we can do, we can use, oh no, I forgot the monster box, isn't that, isn't that quick? 25, but does carry a fair amount, so we'll, we'll go with the monster box. And um probably actually doesn't need to be as high attractive effort, so I might use something different here. A little bit uh cheaper running costs. Yeah, I'll we'll go with the uh this just for a change. So, uh, yeah, nice and cheap. Uh, we need fibres, fruit and fibres. Um, yeah, we we're going to go with the monster box, weren't we? And again, not going to go too mad with here. Um, Go to there and go to there. Oh, oh no, it needs to then go there. And, um, yeah, that's another no loading and unload all. A couple of you. Okay, um, so that's fibres, and um, then all we need, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's going to need a bigger train, but uh, the idea is working well there, what's, uh, yeah, not loads here, so... Still millions of litres of chlorine building up. Just odd bits of parts continuing to build here. Obviously tyres. Right, distracted as always. Let's get back to here. Right, so wool... All we need, max speed. Um, they come in bales, so... Yeah, that'll... Uh, that will do us. And then, I need to remember, this time this is a... a transfer order. Just get maybe eight of those up and running. And then what is wool in a poly poly bulk? Uh ninety um which then means that will be in uh, the brush yeah we we'll only need to get these here quite quickly because they'll have already obviously been in transit for some time and Bound for wool. No 
loading and unload a couple of you please right and then we will need um, yet another parts train um, let's just get one of those up we'll clone one of you and okay just delete everything till it goes to here so we want outbound parts going to here um inbound from the vest and then yeah farm bridge there three of you and uh, off you go and um, yep this should be a eight bales of, of wool yeah but a feeling these might not actually make any profit but We'll uh, we'll see. Let's see what these are doing with their orders here. Outbound parts. Farm with that. Right. We've got. Yeah, we've got bales of wool here. Okay. Right. So the. Next stage. We need to get some tacky plastic interiors. For our cars, you know, that horrible scratchy stuff that you get, that's what we need. So, fibres and chlorine, um, chlorine, I think we're okay with. Uh, fibres, what do we like? We've got lots of fibres. Well, we've got millions of litres of rubber here. I'm not going to mess around with balancing. Um, this is the last video I'm doing in this block. So, yeah, I'll I'll do lots of balancing uh, off camera next time around. Or, or before next time. Right, let's get, let's have a think here then what we need at our plastics plant. Okay, so petrochemicals, we will need, uh, and as I mentioned, I'm going to have to do that by boosting production here and also adding in these couple in fact there's another one that sprung up here as well so i think i'll just get a load of oil tankers and in all honesty i'm probably going to end up putting a bit of a channel through all of this area to allow me then to get a dock in here and um yeah, we may end up having to double track this uh, maglev because hopefully we'll have absolutely tons of oil coming in. And then we will continue to take petrochemicals. Oh, I've forgotten something we needed. 
Yes, that's right, we needed sulphur, didn't we? Yeah, that's what I forgot. Okay, let's just have a look at one of these sulphur trains. So how long do they do they take? So 227 days. Wow. Okay. Hmm. How else can we make sulfur? Is there any other way of doing it? Okay, yeah. No, I did look at this. So, you can get it from a Coke oven, which you only need then to connect up to a coal mine. Let's, um, let's have a quick look. So, we need, okay, coke oven, yeah, these two look, but I remember when I looked here, this is a really low production coal mine. Yeah, this is quite busy around here as well. But I say relatively easy to connect in. I mean, yeah. We we probably could. Yeah. Hmm. It's an interesting one. Right, how else can we get it? Let's have a let's go back. Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. Where have you gone? Okay, so the zinc smelters. So oil extractor. Okay. Bulk terminal. Okay, so coal mine, coal mine to an oil extractor. That might be the other. That might be the other way of doing it. So oil extractor. Let's have a look. Where have we got any of those? Again, a bit like the coke oven. It doesn't look as if we've really got. Any hmm. Although saying that we have got one here and a couple of there it is, I oh know here it is. We have got a couple of coal mines and they are very high production. Right, so if we had our oil extractor here, that then very easy to connect up into all of this, which then, yeah, I mean, it's going to take it a long time, but it will have its own dedicated sulfur rather than trying to take from the sulfur here at the zinc smelter, which, again, we've discussed before, isn't always in plentiful supply. Yeah, so I could do that and then do the original plan of bring it in by rail. And I think it would probably make sense 
We do. Oh, this isn't. This isn't too bad. Oh, it might make it a lot worse. But yeah, I'm just thinking to bring it in maybe into the top one. I don't really ever see any any trains using this. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just pop pop a waypoint here and call that inbound for sulfur from the north and there yeah we'll bring it in there we'll transfer that there right let's get to cracking then um i mean are these i mean these feel potentially best thing to do is to maglev these in i think from from the coal mine Yeah, we'll we'll do that, and then I think yeah we'll just go. Mm, see yeah, this tunnel might just need to change. Change this here. Yeah, let's um let's do that with some huge amounts of of landscaping because we will need to get a connection in In here, so if we do, that's going to be sulfur. If I build So I think we'll do it like that, and then we'll have the that coming in, going like, oh, okay. Not, not hugely efficient, but it will, uh, it will be okay. And then this one will, um, no, what am I doing here? Oh, no, no, no. Right, let's get you back to how you were. And... Again, not hugely efficient junction, but... It should be okay. Right. And then... So we have that there. And then this one... Nice easy my glove. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm just wondering here, should I just... I think I will. Yeah. If I just even... Basically, if I just absolutely smash... No, not that. We didn't want it there. But do bridges here and here. I can then do a maglev station. Um, mineral unloader. In... Um, one goes there, one goes here, um, fix the ruse, one and one, and then, yeah, let's bring all that, let's level all this. And, yeah, get it to, and then, yep, yeah, nice, um, Okay. Oh. Um, my glove, please. Right, that one goes into there, and then um, we'll bring this one up. Around and then, uh, yeah, um, beautifully done. Okay, depot and Oh dear, helps if you put it in the right way, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Defo that up. We will need, we will need some buffer stops. As we will here. Right, I think we'll very quickly get these maglev trains set up. So coal, um, engines only, EC jets, and coal. Just a little bit too long, I can keep forgetting that. Not obviously so used to using these maglevs. And um and we'll just we'll just go with the one and and we can just clone this one and change that to there and then what I will do is I will then quickly get some buffer stops in because that's obviously the priority 
Oh, and I've boo-booed here, but I think I will have got away with this. Because there are no pesky kids. And, uh, yeah, completely forgot to signal around here. Okay. Yeah, so we were taking sulfur. Um, where's that? West Coast. Clone one of you. And, um, yeah, well, these are the two we need to delete. So it's going to go, it's going to go to here. It's then going to travel down, 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 down. All the way along here. going to get to this delightful junction it's going to come up here and then this time we want it sulfur inbound oh no we've already got that drinking field north and then no loading and transfer and um, let's get Three of those on, and four of those on the go. Let's get you down there. And then I need sulfur. Uh, what's the old sulfur payment rate? Pretty flat, so we'll go with cargo capacity. Um, because it's going to come so let's just have a quick look running costs six five four Leyland Daff oh, 24 tons so far Oh, that's an old one. <laughs> 1910. Oh. I mean, these are just dead, dead. Mining truck. Might actually go with one of these, just something a little bit different. So it will go here, it will go here, and it will unload all. Yeah, I'll probably just go with four of those in there. That will hopefully get our tyre plant done. Did I? Yeah, we did. Yeah, these are... Sort of making a little bit of money. That's all, all good. I'll just have a quick check down the assembly plant. And down a little bit that. Let's, um, let's just have a see how our, our trains here are doing. Yeah, not, not huge amounts of of profit apart from our vehicle bodies which I assume this is it's just making ridiculous amounts of money uh, do do I put do I do I dare put more of them on I mean you know in fairness it, it actually looks Okay, well, I think we'll we'll leave all the balancing of of stuff like that 
until until we've got every cargo on. Uh, I can see then how much uh, how much space we've got. Right, guys. Well, that's me done with this block of four recordings. Uh, I have an awful lot to do. I've got 34 ungrouped trains here. I've got 48 ungrouped vehicles. I've got all sorts of stations to jazz up. Yeah, I'm in for a long night. But uh, but no, we are we are getting there now. I say we'll um, we're moving on to our plastic plants plastic plants uh, next time round so yeah thanks for joining me today guys hope to catch you next time until then this is Tommy P signing off <laughs>